Hello everybody, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick little video of what's going on in Meepleville or just what the store looks like while we're here in this COVID pandemic era. Anyway, so I'm standing right here at the front door with my back to the front door. So this is kind of like what it looks like when you walk in. Uh, over on this side is where we're selling puzzles. We have quite a huge selection. We have anywhere from 200 to 500 piece puzzles all different types of genres everything you can even see we have like golden girls and the joker it <laughs> some animals puzzles you know rick and morty harry potter a whole bunch of stuff so puzzles over there to your left are starting our board game retail section we have some chess sets just a whole bunch of different titles as you can see here is our discount counter so we have games over here as well and uh, this is our general large retail section side over here. We have several different shelves. Here you can see we have quite a bit of games and they're all alphabetical on this side. So that's how we arrange those there. Turning to the right, you can see is our kids section. There we go, kids. So we have a lot of kids games, a lot of the Hobbit titles, of course, because those are really, really popular. Great company, mostly focused on kids. So yeah, retail continues up over here. Games up top there. More over here, as you can see. And then it winds around over here to complete, as you see down there, Zombicide, the alphabetical, so it kind of wraps around. We have a little spinner here is also, uh, as you see, we got some of these Hanayama puzzles and some smaller games, different games like that. Here we have some of the exit games, adventure games, deck boxes. And then back over on this side, as you see, there's the puzzle section. So I'll continue along uh, over here to the left as you walk in. These are some of our newer games, our hotter titles. Ones we just got in, we got several copies of a lot of those, as you can see, like Mariposa, Smartphone, Wingspan, always a popular title. We have those there. Over here, this is our Asmodee line with all of their companies, Z-Man, Days of Wonder, so on and so forth, on those shelves right there. To the right, whole big area devoted to all things Catan. <laughs> they got a lot of titles. Up above that, this starts our D&D mini section. So we have all of those, as you can see. Over here, some D&D books and stuff like that. And then here's our front counter and stuff. We have quite a few different sets of dice. We have some sleeves over there. Here's our front counter where we have a lot of these smaller titles, as you can see around there. And again, those are mostly tried to be alphabetical. So we got all those there. Yep, and then back here, this is starting to our cafe. Oh, did you just, oh, go in there for a second. Yep, go oh, there, go there. Yeah, go, you go. Over here is our cafe. So as you can see, we have a lot of different items. We've got beer, wine uh, for drinks, a lot of drinks in the cooler, soda, juices, stuff like that, water, of course. We have draft beer too, as you can see. We usually carry an IBA and a, IPA and a lager. But our menu has increased. We've got hamburgers, tacos, nachos. Uh, we have smoothies, fraps, pizza, quesadillas, chicken bites, just a whole bunch of different kind of things. And of course, our ever popular nibble bowls well, we've got different kind of fruit, uh, candy, cookies, snacks. There they are back there. Hand those out. Coffee, of course, we serve. Over here, going down the hallway, because again, this is the front section. So way down there, I'll be taking you down there. Uh, here is our rental games section. So these are games we have duplicates, triplicates, just a lot of copies of that we were renting. But in general, you can just rent any game we have in Meepleville. So you can go ahead and do that. Then down the hallway here, this is where I just have some of my game collection stuff. I just wanted people to see the vast world of gaming. 
uh, because as you can see, I love the old TV show games up there. So for older folks like me, you'll see the Bionic Woman, Laverne and Shirley, Barney Miller, stuff like that. Even Petticoat Junction, I remember when I was a kid. Grizzly Adams, so all games like that. And then of course, have some of more of my 3M Avalon Hill collection. Some of those games, as you can see right there. Over here, just a bunch of different titles. Sorry for the mess back here. Uh, you know, even look, All My Children, Saturday Night Live, just a whole bunch of different kind of games, different kind of titles. And then here, again, some more different type of games, weird games. Look at this. Even Dr. Ruth, <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies, whole bunch of stuff. And over here, this is the very original D&D &D stuff books right there. And again, some more D&D &D stuff in the case. An original Dune down there. Again, sorry about the mess with both expansions, the Duel and Spice Harvest. Some more advanced AD&D &D stuff, as you can see back there, other D&D &D stuff. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff we have down this hall. There's a little sign my uh, wife made for us. Yep. So after the cafe, then of course, we have the large meeple, as you can see right there. Oh, and real quick, just wanted to show you, you can see up there, I got some more Avalon Hill 3M SPI bookcase games up there too, you know, so people can look at. But here is our large meeple. Welcome friends. And over here enters into the library side. So as I'm standing right in the middle of the meeple, I'll look to my left and look to my right. So let's go ahead and go around to the left side so you can see this is our larger gaming area. We have a lot of tables. We've added booths, so it's opened up quite a bit here. So we have all these booths to sit at as well. A lot of tables. Over here is just, a, oh, as you can see, some more of my old school TV show collections. Up on the wall I have here, the Flintstones, Planet of the Apes, Partridge Family, Happy Days. Over here, just small games. So, all bunch of random small games that just fit on the small shelves. And we could probably have, what, two, three more of these? <laughs> yep, over there, you can see some more old TV show games, Battlestar Galactica, The Waltons, Beretta, stuff like that. This is our most popular game section. So we have a lot, you can see the Catans, Ticket to Ride, Splendor, Pandemic, Takanoko, Mysterium, Small World, Forbidden Island, Soro, Dixit, Betrayal. Just all of the popular games, or a lot of the popular games that we teach a lot, people play a lot. The ones that are just really, really good. New to the library, these are either games we get from Kickstarters, from publishers, whole bunch of stuff we just got up here. We try to cycle these out as best we can. Sometimes they stay a while, like the new edition of Sheriff of Nottingham, stuff like that. We have a two-player section over here. This also includes one-player games like Hostage Negotiator. We have Honorum, Sylveon. We have those, Castellian over there too. So, yep. Now our kids section is quite small. Kids games back here. So we have quite a bit in those blue bins there. And over here, as you can see, kids, kids, kids. And then our classic section, classic Americana. Kathleen made these wonderful things to go ahead and highlight this so you can see some more classic Americana. Monopoly, Clue, Battleship, Guess Who, Connect Four, Life, Risk, Sorry, all the ones, categories, Yahtzee, you know, that you're familiar with. Trivia, trivia section, all different kinds of trivia. We have baseball trivia, Bible trivia, Star Wars, Disney, music, Americana, just a whole bunch of different kind of trivias. And then party games. Quite a big selection of party games, as you can see. All different types from like, even like, you know, uh, Say Anything, Malarkey, Inklings Link, you know, Sketchy, Heads Up. Ellen made that popular on her show, right? Bottle Tops, and we even have, you know, the Werewolf, Avalon, Resistance, Disturbed Friends, Cards Against Humanity, all those kinds of games as well. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and go up the ramp. Up here we have our Kickstarter colors. You got these when you kickstarted. There are the names of the people on our Kickstarter. This used to be our calendar, D&D, &D, Werewolf, different kind of events. Yes, this was only when life was normal, which it isn't anymore. Up here, going up the ramp, have a this and that board, stuff going on, some recommendations, two-player games, group games, staff picks, you should know, quick games, that's out in the hallway, need to put that back up. And then up here, standing right at the top of the ramp, this is our larger library. Looking to the left, over here, and again, going around to the right, this is our games up here. So here we go. Up here, again, just random games, but we do have catalogs. We have one up here, which will show you exactly where every game is, where it's located. We also have maps that you can find where they are, so you can find any game in here like that. So again, just random games. It's the BGG section I wanted to put up, so for all the Euro gamers, you can find all the games you like. As you can see, I haven't updated this in a while. You can tell how long it's been, because look, Twilight Struggle is near the top when I had that up there, so yeah. So, uh, but these are all still, you know, the really popular BGG games. I just need to update and add more in here. And then again, games all categorized, labeled, so you can find everything. I've got some sections like Pirate up there, Lord of the Rings, Transportation. The pink section used to be cooperative. So just different kind of stuff. Back there is just a little storage room and an extra bathroom because we have three of them total. Some more games. Ooh, a trap door. Yeah, that's our office. Kind of messy back there. Anyway, some more games over here. This is just another section of more games, more titles, and remember, these are all to play. So more games here. Uh, that's our big kind of D&D &D table. We should probably stick that in the office, sorry. Just looks kind of bad out there, but behind there, it's got some boards in the wall, some abstract strategy game section, have a word game section. This used to be our little extra room, but now it's more of a storage room office. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That's the upper, back down the ramp. Here we go for the lower library, through the meeple, retail, cafe, and there you go. There is a look at Meepleville.